everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Um, in today's video, so I wanted to uh, show everybody the makes from February. Um, not a great deal uh, made in February, um, but I, I'm reasonably happy. I've got three items and uh, yeah, all very happy with all three items that I made. Um, so yeah, let's get straight in. Um, so let's start off with actually what I'm wearing. So this is the uh, Kinder Cardigan, uh, which is from the book, um, A Beginner's Guide to Sewing with Knit uh, Fabrics. And this is by Wendy Ward. Um, now, last month I um, took part in like a little mini challenge, which was um, a hashtag sew your books. And um, it was just to kind of get everyone a bit more involved in making things from books because they can sometimes get a little bit left behind. Um, and um, I made a, 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 what did I make last month from the book? It was the, oh yes, the, the Frankie tea from Tilly and the Buttons book stretch. And um, I really wanted to make something out of the Wendy Ward book as well. And um, I had the fabric and everything cut out, um, but I just never got round um, to making it in time for January. So yeah, that slipped into February. So yes, uh, so this is the Kinder Cardigan. Um, just to explain a little bit about it before I kind of show everyone, because it's a bit dark, it's black obviously, so it's a bit difficult to show. But this is the Kinder Cardigan. And, um, it's a very kind of loose fitting, quite boxy fit cardigan. Um, and it's got some nice little details on there. So um, it has got this all round um, neck band and um, it's also got cuffs as well. And um, the sleeves are quite loose, quite kind of baggy. And um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's a very, very easily fitted cardigan. So if you're worried about fitting, this is a really good one to try. And I do quite like the boxy cardigans. I don't like anything too fitted when it comes to a cardigan. I like to be able to wear whatever I really want underneath it without getting all tangled up and everything. So um, yeah, so this one's really, really easy to make. And um, what I'll do is I'll get up and show you um, the cardigan. I'm not sure what the light's going to be like, but let's see how we get on. Okay, so I opted for the um, kind of slightly shorter version of the cardigan um, because I wanted it um, ideally to be able to wear at work as well. So I thought this would be quite nice, almost like a kind of like a blazer kind of looking one as well. And um, the sleeves um, are, I think they're meant to be kind of more like kind of bracelet sleeve. Um, they come up a little bit short on me. I think I would have preferred them maybe slightly further down but um, I do have quite long arms <laughs> um, but yeah absolutely overall it's just it's so comfortable and as I say it is quite boxy um, fit on there and um, oh yes I suppose I should if anyone's wondering what this is this is my plantain uh, deer and doe plantain tea in um, this fabric which is pandas and this is from Luby Doo. <laughs> but anyway, back onto the cardigan. So um, yes, this is just so comfortable. It's really, really easy. And um, this fabric, um, what I'll do is I'll pop it off so you can, I can show you a close up. Okay, so the fabric is a um, a black marl. Um, it's got this slight kind of fleck, this grey fleck in there. And um, this I got from Flamingo Fabrics, this was, yes. Um, I don't think they have any of it left anymore because they do change kind of their stock quite regularly. But um, yeah, it's um, it's a French terry, so you can see, you might be able to see the little um, kind of loops on the back there. Um, and yeah, as I say, the, the construction on this is really, really nice. So a feature that I do like um, with this cardigan is um, actually the neckband construction. So um, what you do is you get your, you get two neckband pieces and when you fold them over, um, you actually sew um, the seam shut first before you apply it onto um, the cardigan. Quite a lot um, of patterns that I've, that I've kind of come across, you just literally fold it over and you pin it and then you just sew straight away. Whereas this one, you actually sew the seam um, shut first and then um, you attach it on and it actually kind of encloses um, the neckband. Um, I think I'll probably, if I show you what I mean a little bit, if this black was not the colour to make this in to show everybody, was it? Um, but um, you get a really nice clean edge. So there's no raw edge there. I mean, if I was to turn it up slightly, you can see 
the raw edge probably I'm not sure if you can just under there but actually overall it's a really nice finish and then you top stitch it um, as well um, don't look too closely at my top stitch it's a little bit wonky but um, yeah so you top stitch the neckband all the way down as well so um, yes you do get a nice finish there and then um, finished off at the end there I almost got it level almost but uh, slightly out but who's gonna see that <laughs> so yeah overall I really like this cardigan <laughs> okay so on to my second make which is probably my favorite make from February I love these <laughs> so um, these are the true bias um, Hudson pants and I made it, um, some of you may recognise this fabric, um, I made a linden sweatshirt uh, from this fabric and I had enough left over to make myself some lovely Hudson pants and I absolutely love these, I, it's just the most comfortable thing in the world, I love them and um, I'll insert a picture um, of, the, uh, of the trousers um, and also a picture of me wearing both the trousers and the linden sweatshirt because just together, oh, it's the best lounge set ever. <laughs> um, with the leopard print um, fabric, so this leopard print, um, just to say sorry, was from uh, Lubidoo and it is a uh, fleece back uh, sweatshirting. So it is nice and fluffy on the inside, which, oh, so cozy. And um, yes, so I, uh, I used just a contrast black jersey. I think this jersey, I think I got, um, I think probably from Girl Charlie or something, obviously when, when they were selling fabrics. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, the Hudson pants, for anyone that hasn't really um, made them before, they are so easy, their instructions are amazing, they're so good and um, they just turn out really well, they fit so well, they're so comfortable and even with my long legs, they fit really, really good, they're really good length. Um, so the only adjustment um, that I did on this um, is I just didn't top stitch along um, the waistband because um, I did try that before, um, anyone who's seen any of my older videos, I made a grey pair and as I was top stitching it along it, it just didn't work on my machine, it just kept moving about and um, yeah, even though people can't see the finish of it, it I kind of felt like I could see it. Um, so all I did instead is I just threaded through the, um, the elastic and then to secure it so it didn't start rolling over is I just kind of on the side seam um, I just, I don't know if you can really see, I'm not sure if this is going to pick up, but I just sewed kind of up um, using a zigzag stitch just to secure it in. So just kind of went up and down um, a couple of times on there. Um, so it just means that the elastic doesn't roll um, and it doesn't move. And, uh, and yeah, so I've worn these loads and yeah, I'm going to make plenty, plenty more. <laughs> Okay, and then the last make from February. So um, Tilly's uh, book came out, Make It Simple, and um, I just had to make something from the book. As soon as it arrived, I was like, right, I need to make something, I need to cut something out, I need to do it now. <laughs> and um, I love all the patterns in the book. Um, but I thought I would start off with um, the uh, Safia trousers. And... Um, I'm not normally one for a wide leg trouser of this kind of length. Um, so I actually cut mine a little bit shorter and um, I made kind of like a more of a kind of collot kind of um, uh, length one. And um, in the um, fabric um, uh, descriptions on here, it did say you could use anything from like crepes, viscoses, um, chambres, things like that. But it did also say you could use viscose jersey. And um, I kind of thought I really wanted like a really soft and really comfortable um, pair of trousers because in the summer I just kind of, you know, it's just so much easier just kind of if you've got something really stretchy and um, yeah, just kind of like comfort. <laughs> so um, these are the ones that I made. If I can get them far back enough so you can see the length. <laughs> so they are using a, um, a viscose jersey, which um, I think this was from. I think this was from Girl Charlie um, as well. I'm so sad that Girl Charlie doesn't uh, exist in the UK anymore because I used to get all my planes from there. Um, 
yeah and this is a lovely lightweight viscose jersey and um, the pattern is just so easy it's so easy um, and uh, yeah they are just really really nice trousers um, yeah as I say I didn't make any other adjustments on the pattern apart from shortening it to uh, more of a collot um, kind of uh, length so yes I will insert um, a picture of me wearing them um, here <laughs> so you can see what they look like and kind of the length that I was kind of going for um, so yeah I mean I probably can't wear them just yet um, just because of the weather um, but yeah when it warms up then I'll be using these a lot and I can probably actually wear them for work as well which would be really nice and uh, yeah very happy <laughs> Okay, so that was everything that I made in February. Hope you enjoyed uh, what I made. <laughs> and uh, yeah, please feel free to share if you made anything in February or have you made any of those those patterns? I'd love to love to hear your, uh, your feedback from them as well. And uh, yes, I will see you next time. And uh, everybody stay safe and see you soon. Bye.